on Mika. <sighs> My name is Naomi. I'm a college student. I live alone, but I'm always barely getting by because of all these bills. Hmm. Well, I begged my parents to come out to the city in the first place, so I shouldn't worry them too much. I guess I'll just have to work more hours. When I first got into college, I was super excited, but now that I'm here, I can tell you that campus life is overrated. Hey, Naomi! Good morning, Charlotte. Take a look at this dress! It's the newest one! I just bought it yesterday! Oh, wow, uh, so cute. This is Charlotte. She loves shopping at high-end brand shops. I have no idea where she gets all that money, but her Instagram is always filled with the newest clothes from all kinds of brands. Oh, that shirt. Is that the Mika brand? I had that one too! Oh, you did? Yeah, it was kind of boring. So I sold it right away though. It's so plain. Looks perfect on you, Naomi. <laughs> Charlotte is insensitive and is so vocal about her opinions. Honestly, I'm not too fond of her. Oh, so you want to hang out today? I want to go shopping at West Hollywood. Oh, I don't think I can go shopping this month. I live on my own, so I have to cut back, you know. Huh? What was that? Did you just say cut back? Huh? Why would you do such a thing? Huh? Uh, well, if I spend too much, I won't have enough money to survive, you know? What? No way! How sad! Are you okay? How could you live like that? Isn't it just so stressful? Uh, yeah. I guess it is kinda hard. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, I bet. Well, good thing my parents pay for everything for me. I could never hold back. Living like that would just suck. <sighs> Finally, after a storm comes a calm. Huh? A quiet looking girl with glasses approached me. Um, sorry. I overheard your conversation. I live alone too. Oh, you do? Nice! I'm happy to finally meet someone in the same situation as me. Me too. Actually, I've been studying overseas for a while, and I don't have any friends. Oh, really? Good for you. What's your name? Please, call me Ray. Ray spoke elegantly, and she was gentle and smart. She gave me advice on cooking and other things. It makes life easy if you make extra and keep the leftovers frozen. Oh, good idea. I sometimes eat noodles at the middle of the night too, though. That's the best. That's how I met this kind of mysterious girl named Ray. From that day on, we became closer as friends. Oh, so this is that boba that everyone talks about. Well, it's not that trendy anymore, but yeah. How splendid! I've never done anything girly like this in my life! Wait, isn't this that magical box that people who are looking for jobs use? Oh, those are photo booths. Oh, I see. Smile! What's this? Say cheese! Oh, so this is Parikura. Yeah, but I can't believe you've never taken one before. Yeah, well, actually, I'm... What? You're that? I'm home! Thanks to Ray, college life was becoming more fun. But Charlotte continued to brag to me every day. It was so annoying. Yeah, so recently, I bought this and this! Oh, okay. Ugh, only if I could get rid of her, life would be perfect. Titan Delivery Service. 
An unexpected package arrived. When I opened it up, oh, wow. My mother had sent it to me. It was filled with fresh vegetables and snacks and, oh, this is my mom's favorite. It was a handbag that my mother always used. You could tell that it had been used, but she took great care of it. She always told me how I could never borrow it back when I used to live with her. How are ya? Are you eating properly? I'm sure things aren't easy for you, but you hang in there. Mom, it's kind of worn though. I bet Charlotte is gonna make fun of me if I bring it to school. Oh, I know. Hello? Hi, it's me. Good morning. Morning. That's a cute handbag. <laughs> Thanks. I brought the handbag with me to school, and I was happy that people noticed it. But of course, Charlotte noticed too. Oh, is that Louis Vuitton? Sh Charlotte. I have that one too. Oh, okay. Here we go again. But isn't that an old model? Uh, my mom gave it to me. Ugh. Wait, does that mean that's second hand? Ew, I'm like so against the whole idea. It just seems like a poor person thing to do, you know? Oh, you caught me off guard there. Why would you want to use that old design anyways? Aren't you embarrassed? <sighs> well, it's my mom, so of course it's a little old, but... Why is it that poor people just keep using the same thing for ages? I feel so bad for you. There are so many cute handbags and purses coming out every day, but you can't afford them, right? I mean, that bag is so old, it's almost unique. I wanted to argue back, but I bit my tongue and called my friend up instead. Oh, hey, you almost here? Okay, cool. See you in a bit then. Huh? Who you calling, Naomi? Ray. She's in her class too, remember? Oh yeah, that girl. She's kinda lame and seems like a poor countryside girl, you know what I mean? Charlotte, you're really rich and have all kinds of high-end brand items, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I have like so much money, it's like impossible to use it all. <laughs> yeah, right? Well then, let me introduce Ray to you properly. You guys would get along perfectly. Huh, you mean she's wealthy too? She doesn't really seem like it though. Yeah, she's the daughter of the president of Titan Industries. Right, right, the daughter of... Huh? What was that? The daughter of Titan Industries? Oh, hello everyone. The girl that appeared was in no way lame or looked like she came from the countryside. She was an elegant young lady, Reina Shaku. Huh? Wait, what's with that look? Oh, I'm sorry to surprise you. The thing is, my older brother is just so concerned about me, and he made me promise him to dress conservatively. No skirts! <sighs> but personally, I like to dress like this. The dress that she wore was elegant and brought out the beauty in Reina. I'm sorry for asking. No, it's not a problem. I've wanted to dress like this for a long time too, so it was the perfect timing. I knew that Charlotte would mess with me for bringing that handbag to school, so I called Reina up the night before and asked her to dress normally. Oh, by the way, Charlotte, it's always puzzled me. What has? You always say you feel bad for Naomi. Duh! I feel bad that she always has to worry about how to spend her money. Well, from where I stand, it's more worrisome to me that you need to fortify yourself with expensive items to protect yourself. <gasps> what is there to feel sorry about Naomi, who takes good care of something handed down to her by her mother? Rena, The value of things aren't determined by price, and the value of things that a person wears doesn't determine that person's value. Shut up! He's 
easy for you to say. Look at you. You're wearing some inexpensive looking things yourself. This is from H&M. What? Reyna had an elegance to her that made whatever she wore look expensive. Charlotte, who was dressed in flashy clothes, started panicking. Oh, yeah? I have so many more clothes and shoes than you both. And this necklace, it's a top-tier Tiffany necklace. I use the best cosmetics, and I have all the new and best things. I'm so much wealthier than you. Hmm, I see. Yeah, take that! But the one thing you seem to lack is class. Do you donate to charity, Charlotte? Huh? Of course not! I think it's a social responsibility for the rich to share with the poor. Are you sure you're rich, Charlotte? Uh, um... If you don't grow more as a human being, you'll probably end up paying for it later. <gasps> it looks like she's paying for it right now. Charlotte couldn't argue any further. That day, she just sat in the back of the classroom like a zombie. Charlotte was completely defeated by Reyna. Ever since this incident, she stopped bragging to us. Thanks for that, Reyna. Is your brother fine with this? Yes, no problems there either. We made a deal. I see. Shall we? I'm still good friends with Reyna, and we participate in volunteer work on campus together from time to time. Wow, I'm impressed that you do all of this. Really? The way I think about it is no matter how wealthy you are, there's always a possibility that your soul can become impoverished. Reyna. I just do what I can to avoid becoming poor in the heart. And besides, if it's impressive what I do, then you're the same, Naomi. I respect Reyna deeply for her enriched spirit. I ran into Charlotte the other day, by the way, and she looked so much plainer than before. Charlotte, she's changed. Oh, I heard that she actually isn't that rich. She was just buying all those expensive things with her credit card, and she was heavy in debt. Oh, so she just wanted to show off. She was addicted to shopping, and after her parents found out, she had to sell everything she had to pay off her debt. She can't dress up like before, and it seems like she still has a lot to pay off. I'm not that wealthy, but I hope that I can become someone with a wealthy heart. Like Reyna. Are you sure about this, Ichi? Those sushi bars are so expensive. <laughs> of course! It's our one-year anniversary! Plus, this sushi bar is good. I know you're going to love it, Mika. Okay, thanks, Ichi. I don't see you eating much sushi, though, Mika. Oh, uh, well, I have some trauma with sushi chefs. Huh? Is that so? Yeah, one of my ex-boyfriends was a really terrible guy. I was working part-time at this Japanese restaurant back in college. That's where I met my ex-boyfriend, Hideo. It was fine at first, but it didn't last for long. What's up? Oh my gosh, you're so silly, Hideo. <laughs> one day, I ran into him cheating on me with another coworker. Hey, what the hell? Oh, you caught me. Whatever. What? What do you mean, whatever? Shut up. I'm bored of you. You're smart, I'll give you that. But you're just so poor. Leave us alone, all right? What? I'm going to be a famous sushi chef one day. You just aren't good enough for me. You know what I mean. <laughs> After that incident, I quit that job and broke up with him. Oh, that's harsh. Well, I was raised by my mother, and we weren't rich, but I couldn't forgive him for making fun of my family. Yeah, that's pretty low. Right? He's always messing around with multiple girls, and even though he slacks off on his training, he just has such an ego. I really don't see what I saw in that guy. Well, I'm happy with you now, Ichi, so I'm over it. Good. Here we are. Wow! It looks expensive. I'm just going to put aside my trauma for the night and relax. Welcome! Yikes! Huh? Oh, it's you, Mika. No way! I can't believe it. 
Oh, so you're dating that guy now, huh? What a douche. Hey! Huh? Is this the guy that... Yeah. Well, take a seat. This place isn't fit for someone like you. But you did make a reservation. <laughs> what the hell? You can't treat us like that. We're customers. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is an expensive sushi bar. You know that, right? It's really no place for a poor and plain couple like yourselves. <laughs> well, we did go out for a bit, so I'll let you in today. But for the most part, we refuse service to poor people. You know what I mean? <laughs> Leave my boyfriend out of it! I'm down, Mika. You came all this way, right? Uh, if you say so, Ichi. Ichi calmed me down and I reluctantly took a seat. But Hideo continued to treat us terribly. It took forever to get our dishes and he made so many mistakes on our orders. But he didn't even seem sorry. What's up, cuties? On the house. He was treating the customers who ordered after us way faster and way better. Hey, is that order coming anytime soon? All the other customers had already finished eating, and it was just us left in the end. What? You think you have the right to criticize my work? And plus, you guys have been ordering so much, you sure you have the money to pay? <laughs> uh, whatever. Huh? Are you complaining? You can leave if you want. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Ichi! Sorry about everything, Mika. I made this reservation and brought you all this way because I wanted to show you a good time, but it looks like today was a bad day to come. We paid for what we ate, and on our way out... Oh, hi, Ichi! Hey, boss! How you been? Sorry for not being here. I had some business to attend to. <laughs> you leaving already? Yeah, we were told to. Huh? A few minutes later... You idiot! How dare you treat our customers like that! I was just teaching them their place, sir. You learn your place, you idiot. Do you even know who this person is? What do you mean? He, he's just some douche. Uh, look at this. Attack on Ichi. Eat, sleep, repeat process, rated R tweet sometimes. Huh? What's this? This is my boyfriend that you've been making fun of all this time. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 200,000 followers? Holy crap, it's right. Ichi's one of the most famous food bloggers in the industry. He owns multiple restaurant review sites. He's a successful business owner. What? Damn you! If you ruin his experience here and our restaurant gets a bad rep, you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> I wouldn't do something so maleficent, but unfortunately, it must be the chef's fault that the sushi just didn't taste as good as usual today. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll have to re-educate this fool. Been getting bad reviews lately anyways. I had a hunch, but it was you after all. Oh, yikes! He's right. Their ratings are going down recently. <clears throat> How do you know that it's my fault? Mm -hmm. All right, then. So are you implying that it's my fault, then? <clears throat> Some of the part-time workers were just complaining to me outside. They said you always hit on our customers, and it's becoming a problem. What? Why am I not surprised? This guy was hitting on all the part-time workers at that restaurant, too. And you know what? You never take this job seriously, and you look like a clown! How many times do I have to tell you to trim your nails and cut your hair? <clears throat> you were the one that came crying to me for the job, but you stabbed me in the back. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Let me guess, you were fired from that other restaurant, too? Maybe you aren't as good as you think you are. <laughs> Ah! Ah, shut up, shut up! You're all so annoying! What? Huh, screw this place. I was gonna start my own shop anyways. I'm doing things my way from now on. After saying that, Hideo walked out. I'll be famous in no time. That bastard! How disrespectful! Yeah, seriously. Calm down now, you two. Soon after, Hideo really opened his own place. He must have copied the boss's idea. He made an expensive looking sushi bar. It was quite pricey, and you could tell that he was just after the money. What's up? He spent a lot of money on advertising, so it was fairly crowded at first, but that didn't last long. The reviews for his restaurant were terrible. It was overpriced and tasted bad, and the customer service was terrible too. 
the pictures he used were stolen photos from other restaurants, and he was burned online for being a fraud. I don't know if that was a staff member or the owner, but he kept looking at my girlfriend's breasts. What an uncomfortable restaurant. Slow service, bad taste, and a filthy looking owner. Way overpriced, I'd rather eat sushi from a grocery store. I'm never going back. The owner looks like he's stuck in middle school. Rumors spread quickly online, and he lost all of his customers in no time and went out of business. He borrowed a lot of money to open that restaurant, so he currently lives a poor life. No way! Why? Why me? Ah, that idiot. He won't be able to return to the restaurant industry forever now. Yeah. Our younger workers still had a grudge and spread rumors online about him. As the guy who treated the famous food blogger like crap. No, I'm not worried about it. He was right about one thing. He did become famous in no time. <laughs> you guys are great! Yep, you shouldn't underestimate the damage that those young kids can do. <laughs> Anyways, it's my treat today. Eat up. I owe you from last time too, so here's a big treat. Wow, Otoro! The fattiest part of tuna. Nice! Looks great, boss! Mm, so good! It's so much better than last time! Yeah, nothing beats sushi made by the boss. This is what I wanted you to eat. My anniversary dinner was ruined by my ex-boyfriend, but everything turned out okay in the end. Welcome! How would you like some freshly made odin? I'm Ryo. I'm just your everyday staff at a convenience store. Ryo John, you're so full of energy today as always. Yep. You getting your usual coffee today? Yes. Will you prepare me one, please? It's hard work, but the customers are great and I have fun every day. One day, a group date? Yeah. Ichi gathered some cute girls. Please? I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. Don't say that. What about Setsuna Manji, aka Mr. Awesome? He's probably free. Sup? If he comes, the girls will bail in seconds. Okay, fine. Yes! Ichi and Ko are my childhood friends, and both are working at prestigious companies. Will I fit in with these guys? I couldn't say no, and ended up participating. Hello! Hello. Wow. The day of the group dating? The girls that came all seemed like high-quality girls. Hey, Ichi! This is great! They're all cute. Don't underestimate the connections of a man working for a trading company. Good thing you came, right, Ryo? Yeah, this is great! This is gonna be a great day, is what everybody thought as the group started dating. I'm Mika. I'm Ruri. I'm Mizuko. I graduated from Ochana Mizu University with a degree in Econ. I'm such a genius and graduated top of my class that some guys are a little intimidated by me. I'm interested in guys who are still willing to go for me, even though I'm out of their league. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, now it's our turn. I'm Ichi. I'm a salesperson for an advanced trading company. I'm Ko. I work for a global company and sometimes go on international business trips. I'm Rial. My hobby's cooking. And I'm currently working at a convenience store. <laughs> You're a staff at a convenience store? Yes. Are you serious? I thought this was a high-end group dating. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. I can't believe this. You're just a staff at a convenience store and you're here with us? Excuse me, there's someone here that doesn't belong. Hey, Mizuko, who brought this person? LOL. It's not even funny. You two suck at choosing people. What? Hey, hey! He works really hard helping out his parents' restaurant while working at a convenience store. Wow, your parents own a restaurant? Yeah, but it's very small. That's great. <laughs> if you look at it from an economical perspective, running convenience stores and small restaurants are the worst. Profit is so low and work is boring. I don't understand how anybody can work at those places. What? Uh, hey, by the way, Ryo-kun, did you go to college? Actually, I started working after graduating high school. <laughs> and you're a high school graduate? Y yes Oh my, 
If they're the high school graduate, we should have chosen a dirtier and cheaper Isekai instead. If your education level is low, isn't it hard for you to understand the greatness of fine cuisine? Who is this girl? Should I strangle her? I know because I'm a top graduate of my econ major, but these high quality fancy restaurants make a lot of money because they have high spending customers. The profit is so different from convenience stores. I mean, I guess you won't understand any of this um, since you're just a hired employee. Uh, okay. I'm different from you and had the best education. Of course, I had to take an entrance exam to even get into preschool, and I have certain experiences because of my high-level education. And on top of that... Mizuki's bragging kept going, and the dinner wasn't even fun, but rather, it was a very bad atmosphere. Well, guess it's no good to be stuck onto education. I just made a comment trying to ease the situation, but... What? What is education to you? It's an important tool to get to know somebody. The fact that you don't care much about it proves your stupidity. The lower rank people are the ones that say education doesn't matter and that disgusts me. You should just eat the old bentos at the convenience store. You will never understand the top notch stuff. <sighs> it's true that I don't have a high education. My salary now is probably lower than Mizuko's, but... But... I think someone who has a hard-working attitude towards something is much more wonderful than having a high education. Mika-san? You're doing your best in cooking, right? You should be proud of yourself for that. That's so stupid. Hard-working attitude? So lame. By looking at someone's education level, you can pretty much tell what kind of person that person is. Oh yeah, Mika. You graduated college, but you went to a college that's easy to get into, right? You guys are a good match. Both low level. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. The people that came today suck, but this truffle is the best. This top-notch black truffle goes so well with this top-notch wine. That's not black truffle. It's thinly sliced, so very hard to tell. But the color's slightly different, so... This is white truffle. <laughs> oh, you're right. Really? That's crazy, you can tell. Th th this meat is ribeye steak, right? Mmm, it's so delicious. Top-notch people deserve high-quality meat. Nah, that's sirloin steak. <gasps> you can't even tell the difference. Have you really been around top-notch stuff? You're brilliant and have a high education, but you have poor taste buds? And you mentioned the amount customers spend here, but expensive restaurants actually have more expenses. And if it isn't trending, they have a high risk of going out of business. Depending on the location, Convenience stores actually have lots of customers, so the profit's really big. Convenience stores don't really have trends, so as long as they can maintain the number of customers, it'll be stable. Which do you think has a high financial risk? Um, that is... Uh, I wonder which one. What? You've been around top-notch stuff and you don't know? Be quiet! That doesn't matter! Education level's more important! You're talking big like that, but your education level's still lower than mine! The others, too! Just for that, this group date is worthless! You two! You two! You guys are all low level! <sighs> I feel so bad for people like you who can only judge people based on their education level. What? Well said. Mika-san has a strong sense of design, and her color arrangement skills are perfect. Ryo has cooking knowledge and has the ability to brighten up the mood around him. Ichi! Ko! Everybody has their own personality and strengths, and everybody can learn from each other that way. The fact that you don't care to look at anything other than education level means that you too are a low-level person. After that, Mizuko ran off and disappeared. Thanks to that, there was no more stress, and we were all able to enjoy our time. Ryokun, why are you so knowledgeable in cooking? Part of it's my parents' influence, but I've been studying it as well, for my dream of opening up my own restaurant. Wow, that's great! He's been saving money and is about to open his own restaurant. What? You own a restaurant? After graduating high school, I started saving money right away for my future dream. And finally, I'm at the point where it's about to come true. I want to open a restaurant that'll be a comfortable place for people. That's great! I respect you for not giving up and going after your goals. Mika-chan, thank you for covering for me earlier. I'm actually pretty interested in- We have an announcement to make! We, we decided, decided to go, go out with each, each other! other. Oh.
I asked her out earlier today, and she said yes. I was interested in him as well, and thought I should go for it. Seriously? I ended up getting in a relationship with Rui-chan, but that story's for another time. Oh, and by the way, Mizuko was pretty frustrated about what we said to her. She went around all kinds of expensive restaurants so she could become top-notch in the cuisine world. But every day, she'd complain to the chefs. All her complaints are nonsense, and she just creates a scene. A lot of those restaurants won't allow her in anymore. The other day she was seen eating gyudon at Matsuya by herself while crying. I'm Mika. I'm a junior in high school. I'm currently living out my youthful years. Ugh, basketball is so exciting! I love it so much! I'm in love with basketball, and I go to watch her basketball games all the time. But there's one thing that's bothering me recently. What's up, Mika Mika? Did you see me kick ass? So. Yikes. Yeah, this guy. Hideo is trying to get with me. I could feel your love from the bleachers. Felt so good. Ugh, I wasn't sending you anything. And you were kicked out for the technical foul in the beginning of the game anyways. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, stop checking me out so much. Well, I do have beautiful long hair. And all these jerks suck, so I can't blame you. Ugh, yeah, right. Your hair is so greasy. Hey, can I spend the night again? Hey, not here! In front of everyone, Ichi! Stop flirting with each other while a girl's getting harassed, you two! But you are a cute couple. I'll give you that. Um, um, I just love basketball, and I'm not here to watch you, okay? Huh? What was that? You love watching me play basketball? Mika Mika, I'll slam dunk you in bed anytime. Bam! Stop calling me Mika Mika. I, I can't. This guy is so annoying. I'm trying to keep my distance because he's so not my type. But why does he keep coming up to me? Mika Mika, let's go on a date. I want to go home. Um, I'm busy right now. Mika, thanks for letting me borrow this. You asshole. Stop talking to Mika Mika like she's your friend. Ow! What the hell was that for? Hey, why did you kick him? I'm gonna exterminate all the pests that come near you, Mika Mika. Yikes! This is your boyfriend? I'm out of here! N no he's not my boyfriend! <laughs> Don't be embarrassed to admit it. The people around me started thinking that we were going out. That girl, she's Hideo's girl, right? We better stay away from her. Don't know what Hideo would do to us if we talked to her. No, I'm not though. I tried to ignore Hideo until the rumors went away, but the rumors kept spreading like wildfire. Sup, Mika Mika? Today's the sports festival. I'll be playing basketball. Uh, okay. See ya. Whoa, hold on! <sighs> if my class beats your class today, then go out with me, okay? Huh? Why? Get off me! Why, you ask? Cause my love for you is about to overflow, that's why. <laughs> this guy, there's no getting through to him! No way! People already think we're going out as is, and it's freaking annoying! Oh, that couple is arguing again. See? Let me make myself clear, Hideo. You disgust me! Alright then. So that's how you want it to be. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> he finally let me go, but his last words concerned me. Hideo... What is he plotting? Our class is playing Hideo's class. Out of my way! Ow! Yeah! Ooh -hoo! My bad, my bad! That was an accident! <laughs> what a jerk! He's fouling when the ref isn't watching! Don't say that I didn't warn you. It's my fault. Everyone's getting hurt because of me. After the first half, most of our best players had stepped out, and we were way behind 12 to 42. We had no chance of winning anymore. <laughs> oh no, it's 
my fault. Mika, are you okay? The boy who came up to me was Big, one of the members of the junior varsity team. He was an American who transferred into her school this year, and he was usually reading alone, and it was hard to approach him. Oh, I didn't know Big spoke Japanese. I heard you talking with Hideo this morning. It must be hard to be liked by someone like that. <laughs> At this rate, everyone's going to get hurt. I don't know what I should do. <sighs> Smile, Mika. It's okay. Leave it up to me. Big, is he going to play? But he's a JV player. He can't flip this game around. The second half. What? Hey, is that Big? He looks so cool. He's more fit than I thought. How gorgeous. Ha! <laughs> oh, you Big. You JV player. This is gonna be easy, huh? Five minutes later, the score was 32 to 46. <sighs> no way. Someone stop him, damn it! Hey! Wow, you're amazing, Big. Everyone in the gym couldn't take their eye off him. So cool, super cool! As the game got closer, Hideo's fouls became more obvious. Foul! What? How's this a foul, damn it? That's obviously a foul! And quickly, the game was flipped. No one could stop Big. Ugh, I guess it's time for me to try! Hideo untied his hair and began to stretch. He just wants the attention. Look at his hair! It's so greasy! Yeah, gross! <laughs> Ouch! Oh, he's cheating again. <laughs> Watch this, Big! Here I go! He jumped! Hideo tried to dunk, but... Ah! My hair's in my eyes! His long hair that he was so proud of got in the way, and he lost the ball. Of course, Big was all over it and... <laughs> you... You noob! Stop showing off and learn your place! After his epic fail, Hideo was carried away to the nurse's office as the teachers all shook their head in pity. That's it! And thanks to Big, our class won the game! Yay! Damn it! Hideo has no teamwork! Yeah, it's all his fault! The loss was blamed on Hideo, and his classmates hated him for it. I'll just have to show her my epic beatbox skills next. Thank you, Big. But why have you been playing on the JV team? You could have easily been on the varsity team. Oh, well, I've been playing basketball since I was a small child. But before coming to Japan, I hurt my knee and got surgery. The doctor told me to take it easy, so that's what I've been doing. Oh, I see. But then why did you play for us today? It's just a sports day event. Because you were in trouble, Mika. Huh? The first day of school, I wasn't used to Japan yet, and you were the one who taught me everything. You're looking for the teacher's office? Well, why don't I just show you around while I'm at it? I was so nervous, and it was your kindness that saved me. I'm very grateful to you. Huh? Oh, that was nothing. <laughs> I should be fully recovered and be able to play normally by the end of the year. Will you cheer for me then? Yeah, of course. I'll be your number one fan. It got sold. Damn it. It's him again. I'm Ichi. I'm an office worker. I like to go to arcades to relieve my stress from work. My favorite are the claw machines. I sell most of the things I get on online marketplace apps. I try not to keep too many at home. Recently, there are many prizes from this big anime called Demon Player. You got these again? It's the process that matters. Goods related to Demon Player sell really well, so it helps keep my house tidy. But recently, I've been having problems. This account is the problem. This account buys anything related to the character Togoku, but he never pays. So, in the end, the payment due date expires, and I have to wait until they cancel. This has been going on repeatedly for about a month, and I don't know what to do. Ugh, what should I do? I'm going out shopping. See ya. 
my favorite couple, Ichi and Hajime, living together? <laughs> Sweet! Hey, are you free? Now? Uh, sure. You sound off. Everything alright? I was getting fed up, so I decided to talk to Riku, my longtime friend, about it. Yeah, so that's been what's happening, and I'm really sick of it. Damn, that's annoying. Do you have any good solutions? Well, why don't you try blocking the account? Block? Don't tell me you don't know about it! Well, I'll teach you. So I solved this issue of not being paid by blocking the account. I should have done this earlier. A few days later. Oh! It got sold! I should ask when they can pay so I can prepare to send the item. When can you complete the payment? There we go. Oh, this is the first transaction for this account. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. The bad feeling was spot on. Days went by without a single response, and the payment deadline was approaching. This again? Can you please complete the payment? What? A reply? I've been telling you to pull down the price. Why aren't you lowering the price? I'm not buying it at the stupid price. <laughs> Just make it zero yen. Oh! It's the guy that doesn't pay! I was familiar with this ridiculous message telling me to make it zero yen. The first time he pressed purchase on one of my figure dolls, he said the same thing in the comments. By the way, I don't sell these at an extremely high price. Judging from the market price, I would say it's rather cheap. This guy again? How can he be so annoying? Uh, the only thing I can do on this app is to block and report this account. If this guy makes another account, will I have to deal with this forever? Uh, I'm gonna go bald from stress at this rate. I have to do something. I tried finding a way to get in contact with this guy outside of the online marketplace app. I searched for Togoku lowering price on social media and... That was easier than I thought. He's only a little kid? I was surprised at how young this OG was. I decided to look through his tweets and media section. I really want Togoku's figure, but the price won't go down. So annoying. I'll buy it until the price falls. I won't pay for it though. I wonder when it's gonna be mine for free. <laughs> this guy called Ichi is super stingy. School sucks. This kid plans to troll me until I give it to him for free. This photo. Isn't this around here? This one too. And this one. He lives close by. Oh well, who cares? I found the account, so I'll send him a DM. Hello, I'm Ichi. You're the person that always buys my items but doesn't pay, right? The price includes the money it took me to win the item, plus a delivery fee. I don't intend to lower the price or give it to you for free. There are many people who want this, so I will sell it to them. If you are not going to pay for the items, please don't do this anymore. This should do. After all, he's just a kid, so this should do the trick. Wow, that was a quick reply. Shut up, you freaking idiot! You are way too old to be playing claw machine games. What a loser! You're selling them because you don't need them, right? Why not just give it away then? What a brat! I thought that a little warning should be enough. But if OG doesn't rethink his attitude, he'll probably do it again. I decided to step in. That's too bad. Let's talk everything through with your parents. You don't know my parents. If you're trying to threaten me, it's not gonna work. I know your name and where you live. If you don't stop, I'll go to your house and have a word with your parents. What the hell? Hey, stop lying! You live in Shingeki City, don't you, OG? The picture of the manhole in the shape of the guardrail. Don't you know that they only have those in Shingeki City? What the actual hell? You're such a creep! This is illegal! Maybe I was being a bit extreme towards a child. But to think that he went pale and backed off is more than satisfying. This should be the end of it. This is Oji's father. Why are you taking a child seriously? You know I can sue you for this, right? What is it with this family? Where did the apology go? How can you end up with that conclusion? For goodness sakes. I am so pissed. 
I'm going to check thoroughly to see if I can find any more faults. I opened the online marketplace app and searched the account that Oji was originally using when he first came into contact. This account is currently active and has lots of items for sale along with reviews. It's probably Oji's father's account. The reviews were quite good, and there didn't seem to be any problem with it. But one of the items looked extremely familiar. Isn't this the one Umi lost at school and was crying over? My friend Riku has a daughter called Umi. He really cherishes her, and always brings her along whenever we see each other. I think Umi was saying something like that the last time we met. My Umi's treasure! Damn it! It could just be a coincidence. But I decided to let him know just in case. Hey, Riku. Yo, what is it? You know the thing Umi was saying she lost? I found something similar on a marketplace app. For real? I'll send you the account so you can check if it's her one or not. Thanks! Ah, this is Umi's. This is Umi's handmade sticker. Really? Great. Huh? This is... This too! What's the matter? This account might be the culprit behind the theft at school. Theft? According to Riku, the number of incidents where students lose their belongings is rapidly increasing at Umi's school. It is a little unnatural how things are disappearing, so the school is telling the students not to bring valuable items to school. Riku reported the account Shu to the school because the items for sale from this account included many of the items that had disappeared at the school. The school showed the victims the photos of the items to confirm that it was theirs, and reported it to the police. It seems like Oji was stealing people's stuff. He was stealing during PE class, or when they had classes in different classrooms. Shuji, Oji's father, was the person behind the account, and was selling the items Oji had stolen at school to make a living. Shuji was arrested, because the victims, including Riku, filed a report to the police. Some of the items had already been sold, and did not come back. But Umi's item was now safe and sound in her hands. It came back! As Oji only had a father, he was to move to his grandparents' house in a town far away. And that's it. I didn't think it would be such a big case. Well, at least we had both our problems solved. Thanks! Yeah... <laughs> Oji is such a bully. He's mean and so violent. But when the teacher said he was moving, the kids that he was mean to fought back. Wow, children. Give me back my game! But then, Oji cried and said sorry. That was the first time I saw Oji saying sorry. So we decided to forgive him. I see. <laughs> to be honest, it hurts to think about Oji. He was a brat. But with that kind of father as a role model, it may have been natural for him to be like that. Oji is probably a victim as well. So I want to thank you, Ichi. No worries. Tell me if there's any trouble again. I'm not giving you Umi! <laughs> Don't worry about that. I hope Oji can grow up in a proper environment after being taken in by their grandparents. My name is Hinako. I'm 29 years old and I have a son named Ichi. Ichi has recently entered elementary school. Oh! Hey Hajime! Ichi! Morning Mika. <sighs> morning. Is it still tough in the mornings for you? Yeah, I was working late last night, too. I've been so busy recently. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. This is Mika. She's been my friend since high school. We went to the same vocational school as well, and we both work as web designers. It was our dream since we were students. Even our kids were in the same grade, and she's still my best friend. Ichi, calm down or you're gonna get all dirty again. <laughs> Ichi's so energetic, isn't he? Oh, by the way, you're going to the parent get-together tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't know they really had those things in private elementary schools. The day of the get-together. Ugh, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Relax, I'll be fine. Oh, I haven't seen you two around. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Ichi's mother, Hinako. And I'm Hajime's mother, Mika. Hinako and Mika. I see. 
I'm Yoko Wada. I reserved this venue for us today. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. So, which private school did your kids go to for preschool? Huh? Oh, they went to a public school. We decided to go private starting from elementary school. I knew it! I could tell by those cheap-looking clothes that you were wearing. I have a hunch for these things because my husband is an elite businessman that works at a huge corporation, and we live on the 35th floor of a high-rise nearby. Uh, okay. Yoko was a mother who was one year older than us. Apparently, she was in charge of these get-togethers. It was her first time meeting her, but she started bragging about how rich she was, and she wouldn't stop. Come here, Hideo. What, Mom? Take a look. This is my son, Hideo. See how fashionable his clothes are? Our private elementary school allows for any kind of clothes, so better to dress him with expensive clothes, don't you think? Hello, Hideo. Sup? Anyways, what does your husband do, Hinako? Oh, he's just a normal... Oh, just a small company, I assume. Are you okay sending your child to a private school? We're fine. I work too. What? You both work? Huh? Yeah. Hold on. You too, Mika? Yep. What? I can't believe you both work. It must be so hard for you to send your kids to private school. Oh, by the way, I'm a stay-at-home mother, of course, and I've never worked a day in my life. But I didn't know. I'm so sorry for inviting you two to such an expensive restaurant. I did try my best to lower the price range to something more appropriate for normal folk. But I didn't expect any working mothers to be here. Oh, dear. I'm sure you have to work day and night to put food on the table. Thank you so much for making time to come. Yikes. She's just using that apology to brag more about herself. This is stupid. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for your considerate. Oh, may I ask you for one more thing? Huh? If you plan on participating in these get-togethers in the future, well... I'd like to request that you be a little more thoughtful about what you wear. Uh, okay? I mean, those obviously cheap accessories. You know, it's important to understand that we are all like the faces of the school, you see? So we wouldn't want to do anything to lower our classiness, you know? Your ring, it's pretty big. Oh, this? This is normal, just normal. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to force you to do anything that you can't afford. Um, we're satisfied with our lives, okay? Huh? Sorry, we'd like to go talk to the other mothers too, so we'll see you later. <sighs> Those little brats. So, our first ever parent get-together was finally over. Getting along with these other moms is going to be harder than I thought. But not everyone is like Yoko. Don't let it get you down. You can do this, Hinako. I have to make this work for Ichi, too. A few days later. I'm home. Hey, Ichi. Huh? You look sad. Uh, did something happen at school? Yeah. Let's play, Hideo. Hey, get away from me. Uh-huh. Why? You guys are poor, right? Mom told me that your poorness is going to rub off on me if I hang out with you. Hey, everyone! Watch out! Ichi and Hajime are bums! He said bum! That's so funny! Ichi... Hmm. Oh, my. And Hideo is one of the popular kids in class. So... I was devastated. I thought it would be good for Ichi to go to a private school, but I never thought in a million years that he would be bullied like this. Is this because I got on Yoko's wrong side that day? But still, he's still a child. This is unforgivable. Hello? Hey, Mika. Hey, I heard from Hajime. Is Ichi okay? 
Yeah, I was just thinking about what I should do about it. It's probably because I pissed Yoko off. Yeah, about that. Do you remember the high-rise Yoko said she lived in? Huh? Get together. Take a look at this menu, everyone! The dishes here are so classy and delicious! Um, excuse me. Oh, Hinako and Mika. What are you two doing here? If you have a problem with me, you can say it to my face. How do you think it's okay to get our kids involved? Oh my! How graceless of you to suddenly barge in and start making accusations! <sighs> you see, this is why people look down on you poor people. Well, if you need a friend, we can make up, you know. I know! What about a tea party at my place? How would you two like to see the 35th floor of a high rise? It's your one and only chance! Oh, no thank you. I'm on the 40th floor of the same high rise anyways. Huh? Good one! What an obvious lie! Have you gone mad, Hinako? Nope. Here's proof. This? I'm sure you know about how that high rise has an excellent view starting from the 40th floor, because that's where it starts getting higher than all of the surrounding buildings, right? You probably were told the same when you went to view the room. No! No way! That high rise, the difference between the 35th floor and the 40th floor is night and day! Not only the view, but the price and size of the room is incomparable to the lower floors! There's no way that someone like you could... We just moved in recently, so I only heard about you recently. I would have gone to say hi, but I heard that you only hang out with people on lower floors than you, so I thought you wouldn't want me to. Everyone on the upper floors knows that about you, by the way. Ugh, shut up! There's no way you have that kind of money! Well, why else would we be here then? My husband is a successful entrepreneur who runs an online business, and I make money from home too. I designed my husband's homepage, and I have many other clients as well. What? Then why don't you wear anything expensive? What's wrong with you? Oh man, Okamoto is so handsome! Well, I don't mean to show off my money anyways. Ugh. Stop confusing me with your cheap-looking rings! Um, Yoko, you said that before too, but Hinao's ring, this is a colored diamond. Huh? Oh, well, this is a gift from my husband after he became successful in this business. He bought it for me as a celebratory gift. Probably the only expensive item I have on me. Colored diamonds? You mean those super rare? Oh, and I found that ridiculous ring you were wearing online the other day. But that's fake, right? Whatever though. Oh, and Mika works at home and makes plenty of money too. Just so you know. Ugh. Yoko, we love what we do. And we're very proud of what we've accomplished. Yeah, and besides, why would you want to waste your time bragging about your money? I'd spend that time helping to make money, if I were you. Ugh. Shut up! You guys don't even send your kids to special after-school activities! Compared to Hideo, your kids are just... Stop it already, Mom! H Hideo? You've changed since we moved, Mom. Rich? Poor? Who cares? You used to play soccer with me and laugh with me all the time when we lived in our old house. I hate the person you've become. Why can't I be friends with everyone? You told me I couldn't. But I... I want to be friends with Ichi and Hajime and everyone else too. Hideo? You were the one who used to tell me to be nice to everyone. I miss my mom. Hideo, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was the foolish one. I'm sorry for putting you through such pain. I'm sorry for not realizing that I was just hurting you and the people around us. Be nice to everyone. That's exactly right, Hideo. Thank you for reminding me. Mom. <laughs> After this incident, Yoko stopped attending get-togethers. A few days later, Hinako, Mika, Ichi, Hajime, I don't have the words to express how sorry I am for everything. 
I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. Hideo. Let's, Let's play! play. <laughs> we all make mistakes, Yoko. But to be able to admit your mistakes and apologize, not everyone can do that. Especially to be able to do that in front of your child. That's admirable, Yoko. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you sound like a teacher, Hinako. Shut up, Mika. Hey, let's all play soccer together, Mom. Shall we? True wealth is not material wealth. It is spiritual wealth. By Hideo Setsuna, a.k.a. Mr. Awesome. Not chosen. You should try out a different place. This is the 20th company that I've applied to. I'm Mika. I only have a mother, so I didn't go to high school and worked part-time so that I could help her. After turning 18, everyone around me went to uni or started working full-time. I decided to apply for full-time jobs, but I was rarely even considered just because I hadn't been to high school. However... You haven't been to high school? I bet no one is hiring. You, <laughs> but I don't mind hiring you, you know. Thank you so much. We have it real relaxed, you know what I mean? We don't do like the clock in, clock out stuff. <laughs> I was able to get hired at a restaurant. Although it's part time, apparently you can get promoted to full time employee if you work for over a year. Hey, don't give me that look, girl. I did hire you for the job, but it's a little early for you to become my girlfriend, don't you think? Um, what the hell is he saying? The manager is a little strange, but I'll work hard so I can get promoted. Morning, Ichi! Morning, Mika! Have you got used to the work here? Yep, I've been here two months now, so I've got the gist of things. Ask me if you have any questions, yeah? Yeah, thanks! Oh yeah, didn't you get your first paycheck yesterday? Are you going to buy something? Yeah, but my mom is a single mother, and we aren't really wealthy, so most of my money goes to family stuff. I see. You have it hard. <laughs> yeah, kind of. By the way, I kind of thought that the paycheck was less than I thought it would be. Right? I've been thinking the same recently. Hey yo, sub suckers! You guys working hard? Morning, Morning manager. manager! Hey Ichi, get to work, man. Chop chop. Mika, you are looking pretty as usual. <laughs> what are you doing? There was something on your skirt, so I got rid of it. This dude, always touching my ass! By the way, how's the job? Well, Ichi teaches me a lot, so I think I'm doing good. I see. Well, Ichi is a full-time employee, but he's still new. And he hasn't gone to high school, so... I guess you'll have some questions, so if you want to ask, ask me, the manager. Yeah? Um, okay. You only come around and complain at us. Are you free tonight? Let's go for dinner and I'll teach you stuff then, yeah? Sorry, but I have to go home and take care of my brother, so... Oh, come on. I, the manager, am inviting you. Sorry. You really don't have anything to learn from these idiots who didn't even go to high school, you know. But I feel sorry for those kinds of people. And that's why I hire them. <laughs> I, on the other hand, went to Hawaii University. I'm literally on a different level than you lot who didn't even go to high school. See? This is a picture of me at Hawaii University. You should be thankful, you know. I'm hiring you because no one else will. Like so, he boasts about his educational background all the time. Not only does he boast to us, but he also does it to the customers, so he's quite disliked by the customers, too. I decided to talk about the paycheck issue with this always boasting manager. Um, manager? I got my paycheck, but I don't think it included the work I did overtime. Huh? Overtime? I think I worked quite a lot last month, but when I divided it by the hourly pay, my working hours didn't add up. I don't know what you're talking about. You were probably miscalculating. Um, I didn't get paid enough either. Huh? You should all go back to school and study math one more time. What's that supposed to mean? Idiots like yourselves should just shut up. People who didn't even go to high school should just listen to what I say at work. 
I can't stand this anymore. Are you trying to pay us less? This is against the law! Do you have any proof that I'm trying to trick you and pay less? It's your miscalculation. I bet you can't even calculate how many hours you've worked because you are so dumb. Well, that's... I see. That's why we don't clock in or out. Or is it that you don't want to be paid? What? Well... So you do want it, then you should beg for it. <laughs> beg for it? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Don't take it so seriously. But... If you do have a problem with me, I can fire you, you know. <laughs> I'm only joking. I mean, I feel sorry for you because no one will hire people like you, so... I'll let you work here, so you only have to listen and do as I say. I can't stand this any longer! Manager? Huh? Mika, calm down! Ichi! I have something I want to talk to you about. What? Manager, I will talk to her about this. It's fine as long as she gets it. This is one of those ways to hold someone's mouth that only good-looking people are allowed to do. Oh, he is so cool. Mika, I've been thinking. What, so... So we should do this. Okay, let's fight back with everyone. One month later, a day after being paid, my paycheck has been decreased again. Hey, yo, sup, suckers. Hey, Mika, do you want to do it tonight? Hey, manager, what do you mean tonight? You know, an adult relationship. If you make me feel good, I can give you a raise. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean by that? I mean, you are 18, so surely you should know what I want to say, right? Why don't you give it a try? Enough is enough! If you say any more, I'll sue you for sexual harassment! Huh? What do you mean you're gonna sue me? I mean it. Plus, I've been gathering proof on the case that you've been underpaying us! What? We've all been secretly clocking in and out. We've all calculated all of our paychecks, so we know that you've been underpaying us. You? What the hell do you think you're doing? You're the one to talk! <gasps> they are so cool! If you have a problem, you're all fired! You regret disobeying me, you stupid bastards! Really? <gasps> Yay! Thank you so much! Huh? Let's go home, everyone! Yeah, great work, guys. What is it with you lot? Thanks for having us here for a while. Hey, I hired you lot who had nowhere to go, and this is how you repay me? People... People like me who haven't been to high school can't understand what you're thinking, manager. <laughs> but what about the restaurant? It's none of my business. I don't work here anymore. Wait, please, don't quit. I beg you! But you're the one that fired us, you know. But what will you do after quitting? Do you have anywhere else to work? No one will hire people who haven't been to high school. I'm worried about you guys. I'll let everything slide if you apologize, so... Oh, well, you don't have to worry about that. We've been hired by the restaurant across the street that's going to open soon. Come on, eat up! I'm sorry I didn't tell you this, manager. I was going to talk to you about it today, but I got fired first, so I missed the timing, you know? I was going to start working there after I quit here, but it seems like I can start working there from tomorrow. No way. I think the Labor Standards Inspection Officer will be here sometime soon regarding the underpayment of your employees. I mean, you don't have any employees anymore, though. <laughs> and about the photo you always brag about of you going to Hawaii University? That's a language school that you can get in for 17,000 yen, not Hawaii University, right? What? How did you- Mr. Big, the regular at the restaurant, told me. After boasting about all of your educational background, who would have thought that you were a fraud? <gasps> I'm done for! We all started at the new restaurant across the street. The new restaurant had a very nice manager, and the sales were looking good. It became a popular restaurant with a queue all the time within a month. On the other hand, Hideo's restaurant, without any employees, had to close. With lots to pay for the restaurant fee and the unpaid paychecks, he had a huge debt and his current whereabouts are unknown. Meanwhile... Mika, do you want to become a full-time employee from next month? Can I? Of course! You've been working so hard. If you keep it up, I might make you in charge of other branches. 
That's great, Mika! Thank you so much! I guess this is thanks to Hideo. This is my boss, Kayano. He's 30 years old, but he still acts like a high school student. Yo, Ichi! You're such a pinner, bro! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Man, when I was your age, I was drunk 24-7, getting in fights all the time, yo! Ah, uh, here we go again. Seriously? That's badass, Kayano-san! All I needed to do was tell him what he wanted to hear. I learned that when I started working here. But this just made Kayano worse. Bam, bam! Oh there. What is it, Kayano-san? Think fast, yo! If this was a real fight, you'd be knocked out right now. I'll keep that in mind. It was getting pretty annoying. And another day... BAM! Kayano-san! <laughs> you flinched! Get used to it already. Alright, let's play the punching game then. Huh? What kind of punching game? Uh, we punch each other in the shoulders. First one to give up loses. Eh, you can go first. Uh, okay. <coughs> there. <laughs> that was weak, bro. Ah, your arm is like steel, Kayano-san. <sighs> Guys, they're so immature. I can't go full out on my boss. My turn! Bam! Ouch! That hurts! And look at his form! He, he looks like a spotted garden eel or something! Oh, giving up already? Seriously, what a little girl. Ugh, grow up already. I couldn't stand him anymore. So, I decided to get revenge. I decided to execute my plan at the company award ceremony. It was basically a big end of the year party. There, I introduced someone to Kayano. Kayano-san, uh, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Huh? This is Takia. He works at a different branch, but I used to go to school with him. Hello, I'm Takia. Uh, cool, sup? Nice, here we go. Hmm, you look pretty buff, kid. Thank you. Are those boys flirting? But fighting is all about technique. When I was young... There he goes again. But he's just making it harder for himself. Hey, why don't you guys play the punching game together? Yeah, you were too weak for me, Ichi. But this guy might be able to take me on. <laughs> I'm always up for a challenge. <clears throat> he dissed me again. Just ignore him, asshole. All right, let's decide who goes first. Scissors, paper, rock! Wait, you let me go first when we played. You must be intimidating. Kayano won, so he went first. By the way, in my hometown, we used to say rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> All right, here we go! Bam! Kayano threw his spotted garden eel punch. Takia didn't flinch. Okay, my turn. Huh. It didn't look like much, but it must have hurt like hell. He fell to the ground. He couldn't even speak. The thing is, Takia was the real deal back in the day. Everyone was scared of him. Kayano san. You said earlier that you had technique, but that was no technique at all. You just tried to use force. Yeah, they're flirting for sure. How relentless. Kayano-san was on the floor still in pain. But I wasn't done with him quite yet. Manager, it's time for the sideshow. Oh, right. Uh, Kayano, go. Come on, get up! <laughs> Manager! <laughs> now? Right now? Every department had to do a sideshow at this annual event. I nominated... Kayano-san! Kayano-san! 
You should do it. People will love it, especially the ladies. Yeah? All right, then. <laughs> Kayano's bit. I'm going to break some tiles with my fist. Yay! Yay! He stood there in silence for a moment. I don't blame him. His right arm was destroyed by Takiya just seconds ago. He had no choice but to use his left hand. <laughs> Only one! <laughs> you can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious! You'd make a great comedian. Watching this makes me want to party too. Oh man. <laughs> Not how I planned it. He probably wanted to show off his badass fighting skills, but his act turned into a comedy bit. A few days later, Tayano san, how's your arm? Takia was pretty drunk too. I'm sorry about him. Uh, uh, it, it's fine, really. Yeah. After embarrassing himself in front of everyone, he stopped bragging about his fighting skills. Hey, Kayano! You did great at the party! I loved your comedy act! C comedy <laughs> Do it again next year, okay? Please, sir. No. And so he stopped bragging about being a badass and turned into a comedian of the department. He didn't seem to enjoy this, but it's better than being a wannabe badass. <laughs> I don't care anymore! <laughs> Screw it! 